Hey guys, I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome back to Antebellum in EU4. We are the Battle Pope. We are being aggressive. We got lots of claims. Uh, I don't have a claim on Sienna, which is definitely a misplay. I'm not going to be able to take him. Almost guaranteed. Uh, because that is going to be extremely expensive uh, for AE. But we might take Bologna. It's actually lower on the dev as well. So all around might be a better idea. Seems like we have naval dominance. So let's get over here and... Uh, now, first off, let's come over here. I don't want to get blockaded. That's my big issue here. So I'm stuck here until I get these guys won out. So, uh, yeah, I think blockading over here is in my best interests. We cannot blockade or barrage the walls here. So we just have to win it naturally, which you guys know my luck. It's not going to happen. And get a claim over here on Verona. And let's get some spy network built up on these guys and these guys so we can get claims on basically everybody around us. Um, we've made finally made a little bit of progress. Finally, internal and external mission. We have our first reform mission on the high seas, which gives us naval force limit chance to capture enemy ships. National sailors, it's fine. Manpower recovery is always nice. Tolerance of the true faith. Establish holy order costs. Wait a minute. Honey. Holy orders. Manpower and true faith provinces. Enables holy orders. Well, obviously we have to try that out, right? Where are we at? Local missionary strength. Religious unity contribution. Oh, that's cool. Uh, unrest. Autonomy change. Defensiveness and devastation. Interesting. Okay. Well, obviously, we're going to have to mess around with that a little bit. That'll be cool. So Parma's over here. These guys are sieging down my vassals, and they're making pretty good progress, to be honest with you. We have some Paduan separatists, which is right here, I believe. Oh, yeah, they're going to happen. There's nothing I can do about that one. Let's uh, core it up just to lower the autonomy a bit. 7,000, so... Yeah, it's going to be painful. Oh, yeah. You guys see this, though. You see this. I know you do. I've got a disease outbreak. I've been on this siege for 200 days. They've been on this one for the same amount of time. They're both level one forts, but uh, I have made two progress. That, I, that was a... Back-to-back -back disease outbreaks, and these guys are on eight and eight, and I am on two. Same time, by the way. The back-to-back -back disease outbreaks, that's 7% chance times two. So. That happened. We're also blockading him. He's blockading Rome, but they're not making progress, which is good. Very good. Styria, thank you. Very good, very good. That's the only province that I was going to have any unrest in, so that's good. Just really need to win these sieges eventually. No loans, which is good. We're probably going to end up taking one or two out, but um, we're just going to sit on it. They won both those sieges, and now they're on Rome. I have a wall breach, which is good. Once we uh, take this fort, Styria will be able to get their 8,000 men past the fort in Ferrara down into uh, central Italy, so that'll be good. Uh, great project upgrade cost, huh? Well, I don't imagine us upgrading St. Peter's Basilica like anytime soon. Idea cost, huh? Is that new? I feel like that's new. I think Parmi might have added that in Antebellum. Hmm. That's good. I don't know if it's worth as much money as they're asking for it. Let's sell 750. So I guess we'll just take the unrest in Roma. I, I don't want to lose the money. I'm already hurting. Oh my gosh. 28% chance. Pain, pain, this is existence is pain, 35%. And that isn't gonna go up past 12, so we're just sitting here waiting now. 35% chance. There we go, there we go. They're heading up here, that is a defensive fight for us. Let's get, oh my gosh, they have 20,000 men. Get at it. This is nuts. They really have that many men over here? 
22,000 men. And they got a wall breach over here as well. So... We stole a galley. That's good. So I'm going to see if I can piece out Sienna. How many men you got over there? 6,000 of those men are Sienese, which is good. So this is a nice little trick. If you blockade an OPM, OPM being a one province miner, and stand on their fort, you can piece them out. Little known fact. can even take some money from him. can take one ducat from him. That's fine. I, um... Let's wipe out this one stack. Why not? There you go. This is farmlands. This is good. That's awesome. We can bait them into breaking off that siege there. That is a battle that we should win. It's kind of close. All right. They took heavier losses than we did. So that's awesome. Get up here to uh, Parma, which I assume is where they're heading. They got a reinforcement tick. Not ideal because that's hills. But um, now where are you going, huh? This is also hills. Not ideal. No morale, though. So they're going to be taking heavy losses. Very good. Back up to Parma. Wait, where are you going, huh? They're fleeing here to Florence, really. All right. Now back up to Parma. Monthly tick. Ah, sadly. All that morale flooding into their your, their units, rather. Wow, I have no manpower. This is a doozy. Stack wipe. Very good. So what we do, send you half. Really? Why would I detach half and it would... Okay. I guess I have to manually do this. So send you guys up there. And send you guys down here. And there we go. They don't have any more armies, so we can save some cash by turning off our forts and our army maintenance. Just keep, leave your army maintenance on a little bit. That way they'll still reinforce. And uh, we can just rip through the rest of this war. Without uh, too much worry. Parma. We'll see what we're allowed to do. Ideally, I take these three provinces and vassalize him. But, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to get my hopes up about anything like that. It's going to claim on Sienna. All this stuff is really good. All these claims are going to be useful for us almost assuredly. There go. Charles of Francia. And still, Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. So it looks like they got an heir then. Yes, they do. All right. Young Charles. Uh, I'll take the mana. Hopefully we win this siege soon. That way we can get out of this war. So. 59. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything else with that. So let's um, pillage Parma. 6 AE. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. They also are in, our, in uh, one of the trade nodes we're collecting in. 40 ducats is good. And then full annex these guys. Um, waiting until next year will be good because that won't allow a couple of these people to join. The rest of them will be intruses for the most part. So let's improve relations with a couple of these people just to make sure that our coalition doesn't grow. And Trieste, where are you guys at? Where's Trieste? I like up here. What? Oh, they're right here. Very good. A free city, huh? All right. If you don't know, people can't join a coalition against you if you have positive relations with them, no matter what. No matter what, you could have a million AE, but if they have positive relations, they will not join a coalition against you. Very useful information to have. Improve with these guys. Um, uh, I'll improve with these guys as well. Let's go with the first idea group. Um, so there's a few new ones added by Antebellum in... Um, don't really know which ones really appeal to me. I have not messed around with Divine. I think this might be vanilla. It might be. I know there isn't a vanilla one, but I haven't messed with it yet. It's not bad. Enforcing religion through war. 10%. Missionary strength versus heretics. 
What kind of um, religious gives morale and shock? That's not bad. Trade gives efficiency and improved relations. That's good. Innovative gets attrition. Goods produced. Diplo gives patriarch authority or papal influence and diplo rep. That's not really useful for us. Siege ability with espionage. Oh, ho, 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 baby. Okay. I mean, innovative is basically always tempting for me. I think since we're in Italy... Economic sounds like a good first choice. Let's go with economic. Yeah, let's do economic. And so we'll focus on admin when the time comes. We're gaining 10 ma monthly mana for the time being, which is really good for us. Nope. You guys are going to sit and wait. Be good, good little occupiers. So let's turn that fort off as well. I don't want to pay for it. I'll take the money, please. And I will lose the money. Sistine Chapel, huh? Very good. We're now making monies. Very good. So now if I wait until the yearly tick, I will be able to piece these guys out and no coalition will form. Yep. Truce with Siena. Verona won't. Florence, I'll be able to get them up. Mantua. Parma won't. All right. Very good. We'll also take all their money because screw them. Let's improve relations with Parma. Uh, let's get these guys up here. That's nice, though. We integrated a free city. It's going to cost us a lot of admin. You know what? Damn. Changed my mind. We're going with a mill group. We're, we're so far ahead on mill. It makes sense to go with a mill group. Um, let's see. I usually always go with quantity. Let's change it up a little bit today. How about like a... I'm tempted to try out Divine. Let's go with Defensive. Um, Quality. Let's go with Quality. I've made the executive decision. Quality it is. We're going to have Rebels over here. There's nothing I do about it. Uh, 263 is not ideal. We're now no longer the Pope, which is unfortunate. But at least we got that war out of the way while we were Papal Controller because uh, it saved us a lot of unrest. So, yeah, we're going to have to just chill for a bit and uh, let this die down and let our... Um, pour this stuff up. The overextension is hurting our unrest as well. Our national unrest is 10, which is ridiculous. I'll take that there. That's going to help out with this. Army tradition is important later on. Our manpower will recover very, very slowly. I will slacken standards. So a little trick you can do here. See, we are going to get uh, 2972. But if I switch this guy over to here. And then this guy over to here. Yeah, I guess that one won't be as good because this is all. Oh, no, the autonomy is all right. So switch this guy over here. So it's 2972. Now look at it. Extra. Well, I guess it's only 200 extra manpower. So it's not super useful, useful but fine build a church in roma seems fitting right now we're losing money again because of that um all right we should also turn this fort on here because it's going to handle that devastation obviously a good idea even if we are losing a little bit of money this devastation getting prosperity here is going to be a nice uh a nice thing eventually here we go I'll take the mercantilism. That's fine with me. I get, yeah, we're gaining devotion, so who cares? I'm going to get the, the highest one first in Ferrara. I'm tempted to buy this down just a little bit. It's going to save us a little bit of admin mana. Verona has entered and Mantua has entered. Trieste has entered. Really? Trieste as well. That's unfortunate, man. Thought I got them out of it. Sadly. It won't, it won't fire, though. I'm almost positive of that. I don't think anybody else can even join other than those guys. Oh, Lombardy joined. Yeah, that was the one. Okay, well, let's um do this here. If you can get them to 50, they will leave your coalition, so that's an easy one to do. Oh, unlawful territory. I didn't even catch that. 
Oh, it was over here in Padova, right? Is that why there was so much, so much unrest? No. Ah, Ferrara. Spy network construction or... Yeah, we lost five prestige. That's fine. Let's root out the corruption. Army maintenance is still low, but uh, there. Truce with Venice is over. Clergy loyalty. I don't care about that a whole lot, to be honest with you. Base text in Spoleto. Well, we'll see what we can do with that. I've been talking about it, but I still haven't done it. Everybody's loyal, so you can take a little bit of crown land. That'll be good. I think it is about time to start integrating my vassals. So let's uh, improve relations. Make sure they're all above 190. Still losing money. Waiting on the devastation. So this one's going to need like another year and a half. Close to two years. Just waiting on Perugia to get up to 190. What'd you guys get upset about? Unlawful territory? Yeah, it's understandable. Let's see who's got the highest dev first off. 12, 11. This will be easy. We can do this. This is all helping out with my unrest as well. So yeah, it looks like the only area we're going to have issues with is literally up here, which is fine. If I wanted to, I could have released a Modena. All right, one more and on the yearly tick, we should be good. All right, so these guys will be annexed June 63. January 63, May 63. So go one one month with you guys. June 63. Go a couple months with you guys. Uh, a couple more months. And I'm watching this rebel stack here. Making sure that they don't get up to 90. Once they get up to 90, I will get them there. June is 63. So now we'll annex all three of them in the same month as long as you have enough mana, which it looks like we do. So we're good. Almost done with the uh, devastation there. Prosperity is not growing because we don't have positive, positive stability. Right, let's also switch this guy over to trade power and turn this guy off of edicts. No need to pay for it. That'll help our economy out. Very good. I'll take it. Oh, it's four ideas now per. Interesting. All right. Parmalion has added multiple idea groups. All right. So it looks like we're going to take a loan out and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm going to go indebted to the burgers because basically you're taking five inflate or 0.5 inflation, but uh, these loans are only 1% interest, which is really good. Bring our morale up. Uh, that will help out with handling the rebels as well as actually fighting off the rebels that are going to pop here in Ferrara. Yeah, you can see the interest being as low as it is, we're hardly paying. So these loans are basically free. The, they cost us inflation. That's about it. So that's good. And integration is a slow process. See, for some reason, it, it sometimes gets thrown off there with those guys, but that's fine. Um... I think we'll just go without for now. And we have our next mission here. Deal with the Mad Duke, which gives us Diplo Rep, which is good. Let our manpower recover. And we will get land maintenance modifier, which is good. And have a treasury and no loans. We'll be good there. Once we get these two guys in, we will get some autonomy change and some Diplo mana, which will be good. Good. 
Sicily has embraced the Renaissance. I should probably make sure that I'm not like able to. Yeah, like selling this is going to be good for us. Integration is a slow process. Here you go. And obviously, whenever you integrate your vassals, always make sure that you check this. First off, I don't need that fort turned on. I will yoink that development there. Make sure you full state everything. Check your force limit. Is there any cav? There's no cav, so just get rid of all of them. It's fine. Because oftentimes when you annex vassals, your force limit will go down. It went up in our case, but I don't have the, like, the men to actually front it. Also, why am I losing sailors? No reason to. So this is nice, though. We gained a bunch of ships, so I'll take those. Not bad. Our borders have grown quite a bit just in the last little bit of time. So are these of these six, one of them is a light ship. Have them bro go protect trade. There's a lot, and I mean a lot of trade that we could be collecting that we're not. Let's upgrade that. Just upgrading that center of trade is going to help us out quite a bit. Oh, yeah. We're collecting a bit of trade over here as well. We have two center or an estuary and a center of trade over here, which is good. How's the dev? 31 dev in Roma. That's good. I'm going to take those those ducats. Matter of fact, I'm going to take a few of them. And that will allow me to upgrade this uh, center of trade here as well. Assuming we had the dev for it. Um, okay, so I'm not going to do that actually, but I will build a couple of buildings if I can. Yeah, that'll be good. Nice. Nice. We could start building some infrastructure here in our roads, right? Yeah. Roads was added by uh, Parmalion in this mod. Local dev cost, which is nice. Institution spread. Possible number of buildings basically just means it takes care of itself. Friendly movement speed and trade power. That's all good stuff. Handle the rebels. Turn army maintenance down nice and low so we're not going bankrupt just to reinforce our armies. And there you go. Not bad. All right. How's our devastation looking over here? Gone. So let's turn that fort off. Our forts are useful. Like we actually need all these forts, especially these two. These two are going to basically make it so the Sicilians can't get up here. But um, let's take a look at our naval force limit. Yeah, we're quite over that. So I bet that's costing us a bit of money. One extra ducat a month, basically. Nobility cannot be bought. What is our stab cost? Uh, I don't think I'll be able to boost it up in time, but obviously that's what I'd rather have. The stab cost is important. Or the stab is important. Uh, let's also... Dev this. Let's go with... I need two clicks here. So one. And then another one in a couple of months. We're almost caught up on tech here. Or like almost behind on tech. So not ideal. We'll get Miltech as quickly as we can. Save our innovativeness. Innovativeness is very helpful. Uh-huh. Very good. And we want to upgrade this right here. Um, there we go. That will finish that guy there. Oh, right. I, I recall I uh, exploited the development. So I needed to dev it up three times. Usually it's only two dev clicks. Well, that was... That's, mis, that's a misfortune. It's fine. The extra production uh, dev is good. It's cool, but uh, you know we'll do, we'll do what we can. I'll extend the monopoly, no problem. I'll probably that'll probably be the last time we extend it. But uh, that will allow us to pay off all of our debt. We have no more debt. Just kidding. We have one loan left. But uh, at 38, I will be able to click this button and finish that up, which will actually give us a little bit of extra money in the bank. Or nope, just kidding. It's prestige. There we go. Consolidate the papal states. So monthly autonomy and diplomana, which is good. And this will give us a bunch of permanent claims on uh, central and southern Italy, as well as the event, the return of Tipolo. During his service, uh, Giordano Tipolo uh, was the most venerated and skilled general to guide the papal armies in decades, if not centuries. When the crusade against Andalusia was called, the Tipolo uh, became the leader of the papal forces sent to fight alongside the Holy Roman Empire. Not bad. 3523. Three. I will definitely take that. And the Roman Navy, which should give us galley combat ability and permanent claim on the Western Mediterranean Islands. Very good. 
That galley combat ability will certainly come in handy. 16 galleys is not nothing. These guys are getting beat up on by Venice, by the looks of it. So who are you at war with, huh? Venice and Bulgaria attacked him. It looks like he's... Or Venice... Ooh, Venice attacked Bulgaria. Really? So the Magyars and Bulgaria would both help them. Hmm. All right. Well, that's something to consider. But uh, I think that our growth today is good, right? I, I'm happy with this. It's all stated up. We are now in the green. We are going to be able to pay off our loans. We are ripping through quality ideas. And hopefully we won't lose too much innovativeness. And uh, yes, yeah, so we can continue this in the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. If you are enjoying Antebellum, make sure that you show your support. Leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. It's super helpful. It's super appreciated by me. Um, also, if you have not already, subscribe, ding the bell, and uh, you'll get notifications when we upload videos. We have multiple EU4 videos coming out um, all the time. Plenty of content you're missing out on if you are not subscribed to the channel, as well as uh, check me out over at twitch.tv slash shoot because I do stream multiple days a week everywhere there as well, mostly EU4. Uh, so a lot of content for free. Uh, but if you would like to support us, we have Patreon and merch. Patreon is huge. Um, all those things are linked in the description below the video. That's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Big special thanks to my top May supporters on Patreon. Drunk Binary, Bloodbound, Mr. McFlew, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Batman on Deck, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, Tharup, The J. Baller, Blonde Damon, Jacko, R. Harvest, Corbett, Shankopotamus, T. Jarden, A. Vickman, Barking Glad, Natsuki, Harry, A. Murado, J. Cutchel, N. Winkler, R. J. Pilot, Stolier, and many more.